Hello fellas, we've got another one and this is a wall clock rather like one of mine. I'm going to take it to, so I can show you this one. Um, it's a uh, 31 day, we don't know the make of this at all, beautiful example. Coil strike, it's got a harsh sounding strike but I rather like it. And it looks very similar to one of mine, but it's got a better strike. Check this out. Cool. You think that's good, eh? That's awesome. Move him a little bit onwards. Now well, this clock is quite um, quite old. Sam got it in 1998, I think. Brand new when she bought it. But it's never, ever seen any servicing. Nothing's ever been done to it. It's just absolutely cool. I can't really say a lot more about it. It's just, just an average half hour strike wall clock. But I like it because it's something that you wouldn't necessarily always think of getting. That one's coming up later. I don't know what order these are going to go in. Well, they'll probably go in the order of what I've got them on the card when I upload them. So this is about the third or fourth one I've covered so far. But Sam's got a good collection of clocks. Not as many as I have, but she's got a good amount. And the first one you saw on the, on the videos I've got up so far is the best. It's the biggest. And a lot of people have commented on it. And that's what we like is comments. Positive comments on things that really mean a lot. So, well, I know this is only a short one because there's not really much I can say about this. I can't really show you the movement because there's nothing there to really show. It's up in there behind the face. You can't really see much of the movement, but it's a typical 31 day, quite nice clock with a fancy top. You know, I like it. It's cool. So we'll be back for the next video. I'm not sure what we're going to feature next, but... We'll see what we can find.